Um, nom, 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 nom. Good morning, survivors. Polly Jr. here. And welcome back to the long dark. We're picking up where we left off here after the end of the last episode. We're still in the Pleasant Valley, of course, at Molly's homestead. And we have uh, taken a day off yesterday <laughs> in the last episode. Took a, a nice light walk outside in the Canadian wilderness. And it was very low impact and low stress and a whole lot of fun. We set up a couple of wabbit snares. Um, and we're going to go check those out this morning to see if we get any wabbits. And it was a pretty relaxing day. We're probably going to do the same thing today. Just a uh, short run, probably over to Thompson's Hall to pick up all the food over there and a bunch of stuff that we left behind. And I would also like to get some reading done, especially this one right here, the sewing primer, so we can get better at sewing. We can fix up our uh, gear more reliably, faster and better, and all that jazz. So let's, uh, yeah, let's get going. It is it's early in the morning here, and I'd like to get started as soon as possible. We're gonna grab all these cured guts and bring them outside. It's starting to smell in here. And it's not me. I haven't showered in a while. Uh, at least that's the story, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> uh, what else should we bring? Actually, we're going to drop a whole bunch of stuff. Obviously, the guts are going to go outside before we go. And, man, it sounds super windy outside, doesn't it? It sure does. All right. We are going to drop some things. We'll just do it right here. Just find some open floor space. Um, we're not going to bring the cloth. There's going to be plenty of cloth there, I think. Getting kind of thirsty. Hold on, buddy. I know. Be right with you. And we're going to drink. Uh, drink. <laughs> we're going to drop some of the uh, charcoal. I don't think we're going to be doing too much survey along the way. I know we don't need the book because we have plenty of books at the hall. And we're certainly going to stop there. Maybe uh, do some bingo and some dancing. Ooh. Ooh. The, sun, the uh, wind is slowing down outside. That's fantastic. Um, all right, what else can we drop? We just don't need to carry everything. I don't think we're going to need the axe. I don't intend to do any chopping. And that's three pounds. I mean, there's a whole bunch of stuff there that we want to bring back here and consolidate it. And it's uh, just going to be too heavy to carry all this stuff. Um, it just doesn't make sense. The pry bar? Yeah, we don't really need the pry bar. Oh, there's a knife down there. I do not see that. Kniffy, pick it up. And we'll step down it. Cut off a toe. All right, put our tools over here. Um, I don't know if we need to put these outside. These are all done. The, uh, the saplings. I, we're just going to leave them on the floor for now. All right, I think that's good. We're down to 52 pounds. And we're going to drop all of the... Um, we're going to drop the food, too. We don't need all this food. And the torches. Yeah, we don't need all this. Let's drop the torches, too. We do have to stop off at the, the barn that we were at the last episode because you guys had mentioned that I had missed a couple of things. So that is on the way, sort of. So we'll stop there and grab the things I missed, like uh, arrows potentially in the targets outside. So thank you very much for the likes, the feedbacks, the tips, the tricks, and all the hints and the things I missed. <laughs> I do tend to miss a lot. We definitely want to bring a sewing kit. We'll probably do a little bit of sewing there. Um, all right, I think I think that's good. We're down to 50. Yeah, all right, good enough. Good enough. I don't want to waste any more time here. Oh, we got a drink. Yes, let's drink. Let's have a... What do we have to drink here? We have a coffee. Yeah, sure, I'll have a nice cold coffee. Ice coffee for the morning trip. And let's go outside and see what we have to eat. I think we got everything here. Oh, can open. No, there's a can open there, I'm pretty sure. All right, out we go. All right. Well, it's a sunny day. It just seems really windy. Wow. Yeah, listen to that wind. Holy cow. All right, let's drop them guts. Because they do degrade, it looks like. Indoors. I don't know if they get eaten out here or not. But it looks like our meat's fine. Fresh wolf meat all cooked up. And that casing. Yes, thank you for pointing out that casing. I did mention that several times to remind me, and many of you did. <laughs> Um, we're gonna drop all the food here because there's gonna be plenty of food there and oh, wow two down arrows We got we got to roll. We got to roll. I am gonna eat one of these. Let's just find one. That's almost uh, stale 
Uh, 51. Yeah, eat that one right there. Right off the ground. Five second rule. I think that wolf was looking at me. Don't you judge me, bro. I'm sure you've eaten a lot worse. Um, all right. Yeah, I think, I think we're going to go. Let's go. We could go check the snare over here. It just seems really cold. I think we're going to forget the snare right now. Let's just get to Thompson's. It's just going to be too cold. Maybe if this wind lets up, we can check the snares on the way back. Because it's the snares are way over there. And I just don't think it's going to be worth it. And I would like to move the snares over to the wabbit uh, over there. The wabbit patch by the um, by the barn near the front gate way in here. Because we did see a rabbit moving around over there. And I think that would make more sense. Now, can we get down here without breaking anything? I think so. Right down to the river. We're going to take the same route as yesterday, pretty much. Um, that's fine. <laughs> you never know with this game. <laughs> when you're going to break an ankle. Up we go, Punchwood. You can do it. I see some crows, but I think that's just the wolf we shot. Oh, by the way, I put on the, um... Hold on. I put the gauntlets on because many of you had mentioned that they're just as good as the rabbit skin mittens, which is what I was trying to make with the rabbit snares, or at least thinking about making in the future. But I've been told that um, these gauntlets are about the same as far as the properties go for warmth and waterproofness, but they're just a tad bit heavier, just like another pound or so. So we're going to stick with them. They're good. And they're pretty fashionable, too. Not that you can tell, because Punchwood never wears his gloves. And they have solid defense, too. So if we do get attacked by a wolf, we should be all right. Well, the sun's gone. But it is warming up outside suddenly. The wind chill is uh, only at negative 10 right now. Feels like 33 degrees Fahrenheit. It's not even freezing. It's a beautiful day. I know we're backtracking here, and I don't like to backtrack, but I would like to go and check that. Um, the barn, the, uh, the, the targets outside potentially could have arrows and maybe even a bow. I would love to get a bow so we could do some hunting and maybe shoot some of these wabbits and also the deer without wasting ammunition. We want to save the ammunition for the predators if we can... So yeah, just a little bit of backtracking, and then we'll get to Thompson's and do some reading. This could be a relatively uneventful episode, but it is what it is. We have to survive. Survival is the number one priority, and there's going to be down days. It's not always going to be action and adventure, at least in the long dark. All right, there's the target, and it looks like there's some arrows sticking out. Cool, but I don't see a bow. Sadly, looks like the wolves are gone too. Oh, these are good arrows. Perfect arrows. Excellent. And this one's broken. All right. Apparently, there's sometimes a bow leaning up against the target, or is it maybe leaning up against the barn? I don't see a bow. All right. Well, it's pretty good. Three arrows, two unbroken, and one broken. And now let's get inside. And there's one thing I missed in here. And that would be up in the loft. Um, I'm going to just take one torch. Might as well. Where's the loft? Here it is. Yeah, I missed a piece of cured leather on a cardboard box that some of you had noticed. It's really hard to see. There you go. Wow, good eyes. Thank you. <laughs> and keep all of that goodness coming. Tips, tricks, likes, feedbacks. All that fun stuff. All right. That's empty. We don't really need to stay, stay in here and warm up or anything because it's pretty warm outside. Now. All right. Out we go. Okay. One last thing that I actually noticed that I had missed during my editing process that none of you had mentioned. So shame on you. <laughs> you got to look better next time. Just kidding. I did notice a log in a crate outside of this old barn right here on the corner of my eyes. Yep, right there. Cedar firwood. Uh, the dog food we don't really want. So, yeah, there we go. Now we can get back on track 
and head over to Thompson's. And we're going to get a fire going probably at some point tonight. Um, we'll probably just sit there and do some reading and some mending. Um, there's a bridge over there. That's the road, right? Yeah, there's the power lines. We've been on that. Oh, here's another bridge. Why don't we go across this bridge here? Hopefully there's no wolves. He's about to... Well, I do hear them. And I hear them right over there. <laughs> I do want to survey up here. I haven't done that yet. Just out of curiosity. And I don't know why the barns and all these buildings didn't show up on our survey. Oh, there's a wolf over there. Down by the river. Yeah, I don't think we've been here before. Why don't we do a quick survey? And it looks like I need to drink. Get some potable water right here. Probably should have left this behind. That's a lot of water. I think we left a lot of water at uh, Thompson's. And it's super duper heavy. Um, Alright, let's do the survey right here on the B Ridge. And check it out. It's a bridge right there. Yeah, see, it doesn't show the buildings over here. Don't know why. We definitely surveyed by the buildings. Very odd. Man, it is a nice day today, even though the sun disappeared. I'm gonna look over here by these trees. For birch bark. And we got some kind of a pond. I see a bunny over there. We'll grab some sticks and bring them with us, just in case we need material to burn when we get to Thompson's. As I was saying, I'd like to get a fire going tonight. We can sit by the fire at Thompson's and read and mend and sing songs um, after bingo and dancing. We'll relax. Is there anything here? Uh, no. It's just an old swampy area. Frozen. This reminds me of home and some of the places that I used to mess around in as a kid. I so love the frozen swamps. Walking around at them. Falling through some of the thinner ice. But it wasn't deep. <laughs> you just go home with very muddy shoes. Or boots. At the end of the day. But nothing nothing life-threatening on those swamps. Got a wolfie over there to the right. I don't think there's anything of interest there. We're going to follow this road right to Thompson's Hall. And what is that over there? It's a deer. It's a little foggy today, but not too bad. We can still see relatively far. And it looks like... Oh, there's a whole bunch of deer here. Is that a wolf? It's a deer. Looks like a nice deer hunting grounds right here. Hmm. Remember that if we ever need to hunt deer. Yeah, I mean, I could go shoot one right now with a rifle. And maybe bring another deer hide over. We do have one deer hide curing right now. I just don't know if it's worth it. And we can make the deer hide pants. We might be able to just find a carcass on the ground. That way I don't have to kill it and use a bullet. <laughs> or we can go get one right now. You know what? There's plenty of deer. Plenty of deer in Canada. We don't have to do that right now. We still have to make the trek back home to camp office. We're going to bring all of our skins and everything with us. I imagine we're going to have to leave some of this stuff behind. We're just not going to be able to carry everything. But I would like to bring it all to one location and consolidate. There's the church right there. We made it! Thompson's! Awesome. Alright, let's grab a stick. Oh, there's more bunnies right here. Of course, now there's bunnies everywhere! I don't have any snares on me. Alright, let's get to the hall. Get a few things done while we can see in the daylight. And then we'll figure out what we want to do. I don't think there's anything left here to see. Or maybe there is, I don't know. But I feel like we've done enough here in Pleasant Valley. We should probably head back pretty soon. Here lies Ryan Thompson, 1850 to 1899. Pretty young man. Beloved daddy. Smith. Jocelyn Cook. Alright. I don't know who these people are. I don't know if they're just part of the story, or if they're backers, or what. I guess it'd be weird to put backers' names on on a headstone. <laughs> don't want to jinx anybody. You know what I mean? I went walking through a cemetery near my home over the weekend. A big, big, old cemetery. 
There's a hiking trail that goes around it, so we kind of walked through it to get to the hiking trail, my wife and I, and um, yeah, we saw a lot of really, really old headstones, like 1700s, really kind of interesting if you take the time to look at them. All right, drop the gun. I know it can't fire when it's not raised up in aim mode, but just in case, we're in a gun-free zone, so got to be careful. Um, I'm going to maybe grab some food and bring it in. We're going to eat it tonight. Not the 19%. That's lousy. Um, well, we'll grab the water. That's not going to go bad. Oh, we've got to make some dusty tomato soup tonight. Mm-mm-mm. And banged up pork and beans, my favorite. Oh, there's more over here, too. And new pinnacle peaches. Yeah. We're going to sit here and probably eat a little bit, drink a little bit, and get some stuff done. I'd like to at least finish that um, mending book. But I'm not sure what else is around here that we can go and explore. But I think for right now, let's go in while we get some daylight. Hello, we're here for bingo and dance. Uh, yeah, I guess we're early. No biggie. Let's just get ready. <laughs> okay, so what do we got here? We got our old combat boots. We got a firearm. Oh, nope, that's ruined. Uh, we do have our combat boots. And there's there's a can opener that I left here accidentally, but it probably worked out fine uh, because we are going to need it to cook up our dusty um, soup and banged up pork and beans and all that. Wow, a lot of firewood here. We got books, plenty of fire starting materials and burning materials. So that's great. Yeah, we don't have any cloth, but I, I know I left the cloth behind, but we can tear all this stuff down. There's a lot of clothing here that we left behind. In fact, I think there's more over here. Inside the trunk. Holy smokes. Oh, yeah, there is tons of books. We've got some bandages. We've got lots and lots of clothes. There's our dancing shoes and our, and our dress shirt for tonight. When bingo starts, we've got some metal stump remover. We definitely want to bring that home. Oh, plenty of water here for drinking. Uh, we might as well grab all the water. Yep, grab it. And a lot of things we can tear up for cloth. So, yeah, let's do it. Let's grab some of that. All right, we don't have to carry everything right now because we're just going to be sitting down and doing some relaxing here by the fire. We don't even need to get the fire started yet because we can see. But we will grab these and, uh, well, let's break these down. How long is that going to take? Harvest only 10 minutes for cloth and we'll maybe do some mending and some reading like I said while well, we still have a little daylight We also have this cured leather. Can we fix our boots? That's gonna take hours. I think where's our booties? Um, one cloth and one leather hour and 30 minutes only a 70% chance. I think we're gonna hold off on that I think we should read the book honestly first I read one hour's worth so far. We got four more hours. Maybe we should just do that right now Get that out of the way, and then we can do some mending. Does that make sense? I think so. I think so. All right, well, let's do that. While we still have some daylight, we should probably eat something. Got a lot of food here. Let's eat uh, that we should cook up. Well, you know what? Let's go back outside and check on those sardines. Yeah, because these will hydrate a little bit too. 87 for that one. 19. I'm not going to eat that one for sure. And this one's 19. Okay, we're not taking any chances with those 19 percenters, but um, we'll grab the one, and how about this energy bar? Eh, it's under 50%. I think under 50% is a bad idea. We might get some kind of a stomach issue. So we'll leave those there. Let's go back in. I think you can get food poisoning under 50%. Is that the deal? Something like that. All right, let's see what we got here. 87% for the sardines. Let's eat that. We're running super low on herbal tea. In fact, there's only one left. We still have a lot of coffee. That's great. But we're going to need to find some tea. Maybe we'll have to go to like a town like Milton or something and stock up on our teas. But right now, let's not worry about that. I think what we're going to do is just use this bookie. And um, let's make sure we are hydrated and fed. I think we can get a couple hours in. Let's just do two hours. And just see what kind of condition we're in. And then we'll do another two. 
Okay, that's not going down that fast. We got plenty of food and water here. What, dude? Really? You just read about sewing and you're bored? Wow. Oh, and the sun's up. Oh, okay. Yeah, we got to get outside. Sun is up, but sun's going down, actually. <laughs> Uh, okay, let's get the two more hours of research in. We don't need to eat or drink, I don't think, right now. And we're going to get our full uh, mending up. Well, full five hours. And then um, our mending will go up by some value. I don't know what yet. There we go. Now, I guess that's it, right? This is just like basic sewing. Now we can burn it. Or we can add it to our library collection. Oh, mending. Novice 2. Excellent. Let's check it out. Right here. Uh, carcass harvesting. Here it is. Mending. Your sewing skills are improving. You are now making fewer mistakes and making your repairs a little more speedily. I think we started at 50%. We're now up to 65% chance of a successful repair. And repair time decreased by 10%. That is amazing. Now, let's go back and check out those booties. And compare... Yeah, so now we're down to 1 hour and 21 minutes and an 85% chance of success. So I think we're going to... Uh, do we have an hour and a half worth of stuff in our belly? Eh, I don't know how much time. Like, I don't know if we have an hour and a half right here to do this. Because if it gets dark while we're in the middle of it, it will um, it'll fail. Alright, I think... This is the time to do it, right? Because we're indoors, we're safe, we're warm. It's a gun-free zone. We're not going to get shot in the middle of this process, but we could lose our light. However, I think it's probably worth it. Let's try right now. We may not have another chance like this. Just want to make sure we have enough hydration for this job. It is a, an hour and 21 minutes of stitching. Go! Go, Punchwood, go! Oh, 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 he's breathing heavily, sighing. You did it! 100%! Wow! I knew you could do it. I had I had the faith. And how are we doing on light? No, it's gone. <laughs> okay, well, let's get a fire started. I wish we had another book to read. Um, maybe I should have brought another book. Live and learn. Now, let's, uh, let's light a torch so we can see. We've got this torch right here. That's a nice one. And we'll use cardboard match. Um, we got a ton of books, so we're not even going to mess around here. I'm going to get this fire started. Burn a book. Torch. No, not the birch bark. We got tinder plugs coming out of our butt, so let's just use one of those. You can't mess this up, pal. Come on. Unfortunately, our fire starting book is back at camp office, I think, isn't it? I think so. All right, put that out. And now we have a fire. Throw some wood on there. Uh, let's throw a couple. We've got plenty of wood here, so that's not a problem. Add the fuel. We've got two hours there, and let's just go with the three. Yeah, toss some sticks in there too. We're gonna have a nice night here by the fire. Got plenty of time. Moon's just coming up right now, and then we can sleep by the fire. It's gonna be so cozy. Um, what should we make? I think we're gonna make some food. Banged up pork and beans. Sure. Oh, my opener. Yeah, it's on the ground. I just messed that up, didn't I? Pick up the opener. <laughs> now, can we do another cooking slot here? Yes, we can. Let's do another can of, of a banged up pinnacle peaches. We'll have our fruits and our veggies. All right, what time is bingo, by the way? Did we miss bingo while we were sewing? Oh my gosh, they came and they went. We missed the bingo, we missed the dancing. Dag nabbit. All right, let's just keep an eye on these. Oh, we're going to have to eat it right now. All right, pick it up. Just don't want to burn anything. If we're in the middle of cleaning or fixing, we could uh, ruin our food. So there we go. All right, excellent. So now, what else should we do? Uh, let's make some water. Always good to have a little water. We'll cook that, and we're going to cook up some tea... Uh, why can't I cook tea? Oh, wrong slot. All right, you know what? No, 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 take it, take it. We're gonna cook, uh, not a tea, a coffee. And can we do water here? Yes, we can. Melt the snow. Let's, uh, let's break this thing down. We'll harvest, only 10 minutes for cloth. 
Oops, something's bubbling. And what can we repair now that we have our new mending skill? Maybe the underwears. Oh, the jacket. How long is that going to take? We need two cloth. Another hour and 21. But maybe now's the time to do it. You know what I mean? Oh, I did not want to drink that. I wanted to hang on to that. Oh, dang it. Whatever. Whatevs. All right, we're going to have to tear one more thing down. Sport socks. I think the sport socks will break down probably pretty easily. Harvest, 10 minutes. Hold on, pal. Something's bubbling over here. It's almost boiled. And I'm going to make another coffee just to have it with us. All right, let's break down one more thing. We've got 10 minutes here. How long is it going to take to harvest this? 20 because it's wool. Um, let me go see if there's anything made of cotton. It'll be a little easier. It's chair. Container. Oh, I can't see the chest. I know it's here. Here it is. Cotton toque. That we can rip up. One minute for ready. Pass the time and just take it. Don't drink that one. And this one, we can take that as well. All right. So now let us tear down. And I know this is boring, but just bear with me. We're going to have some more adventure shortly. <laughs> Maybe. Let's tear this up. Ten minutes. Cotton toque. Cotton toque. All right. So now we have enough cloth, I think, to try repairing the uh, the jacket. It's going to be an hour and twenty-one. Yeah, I think it's going to be worth it. We have enough firewood going right now, so we'll have lights. Uh, lights, camera, action, go. So like the wind, Punchwood, you can do it. 85%, you did it. Excellent. Look at that. 100% military coat now. Brand new. And we also have brand new booties. So we're looking pretty good. Let's just check the time real quick. I think it's probably time for bed. We could make a tea, but I don't think it's necessary. Again, we're not doing anything too strenuous right now. So we're just going to um, let that fire burn out. Or should we grab a torch? Uh, we have a torch. I don't think we're going to need another torch. So we're going to let it burn and we're going to go to bed. Sadly, we miss bingo and dancing, but what you going to do? At least we have new shoes and a new jacket. And we're going to sleep for, my guess is about eight hours. So good night. Uh-oh. I didn't check my food or hydration levels. Oh, boy. Oh, wow. Thirsty. All right. Have a sip. Whew. That was close. And it sounds like it's super duper windy out there. What time is it? It's really dark in here, even though the sun is coming up right now. Uh, okay, what can we do today? I guess head back. We're just going to grab everything we want and head back through the storm. It sounds nasty. And I probably should have grabbed another torch. Because we're going to need it right now to see. <laughs> but, alright, let's just light this torch up. No biggie. Alright. So, what are we going to bring back with us? We should probably focus on the things that we just cannot find, or at least are more difficult to find. Like a flare. I think we're going to need a flare. I would really like all the books, to be honest. Although, if we get our fire starting skill up a little higher, it may not be necessary to carry all that. I don't think we need the spray paint, but yeah, I guess I'll take it. We'll take the wooden matches. Anything else in here that we absolutely have to have? I am going to take the dancing shoes because I keep missing bingo. So we're going to break them down for the leather. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess we'll just take some of this. We'll, we'll leave some of it behind because we might come back here someday. Grab the scrap metal. Uh, charcoal. That's two pounds of charcoal. We can, we can take it. I don't think we're going to need any more clothing. Okay, I'm going to leave the rest of that. Anything over here? We don't really need the combat boots, so we're going to leave those. Firewood, we should bring some firewood. 74 or 77. Uh, maybe one more. And now we're very close to, to our maximum capacity. And I think we're, we're going to go. We're going to go. It sounds bad, but once we get to Molly's, we can... Warm up and settle down, and then maybe do a little more reading. We've got more books there. 
Let's go. Ooh, boy. All right. Well, I thought this episode was going to be uneventful. But maybe we'll have a little adventure on the way home today. <laughs> Back to Molly's. Um, might as well grab some of these new saltines. They're not too heavy. New beef jerky. Beef jerky is really good. Uh, stale, stale. Moldy. Okay, all the rest is probably pretty bad. Um, new pinnacle peaches. And now we're just a little heavy. Oh, well. You know what? We can drop some sticks. I think we have a bunch of sticks we don't necessarily need to carry. All right, let's go. We're going to... Whoa! Trees are falling. Something's falling. Let's get out of here. Um, hold on. I'm already lost. <laughs> okay, it's this way. No, that's the town. We're going to go past the bus stop. Right. Oh, man. If we get lost now, that's going to be A, very embarrassing, and B, really bad for us. But pretty sure we're on the right track. And it is super cold. Wow, three down arrows, even with all our our awesome gear. Uh, none of it's really helping. So, I apologize for the uneventful episode. I know it was kind of boring just watching me repair and um, mend and cook <laughs> and read. But you got to do it, right? Every once in a while, I just have to stop and do it. And wow, is it cold cold is making my yeah, head feel thick. Yeah, I know it is. I've never seen it this cold before. What's it feel like out here? Yeah, it just feels like negative 27. At least the wind is pushing us from behind. Hypothermia risk. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, we should have made a hot meal or hot uh, coffee or something. I've never felt so cold in my life. I think you'll be fine, buddy. Uh, but I'm no doctor, so... Whatever whatever we do, we don't want to miss our turnoff. <laughs> I mean, doesn't it seem like we literally just stepped out of the community hall not 30 seconds ago? And we're already frozen solid like a popsicle. Wow, look at the wind in the trees. It's such a great effect. I really do love how that looks. All right, we're at the contem Contemplation Bridge. Whoa, 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 whoa. Contemplation Bridge? This is Heart Ridge. What the heck is... Oh, no. Oh, yeah, okay. Whew. It's the uh, it's this bridge right here. I thought this was the Heartbreak Ridge. Bridge. It's a little different. Okay. I thought maybe we were going in the wrong direction. If we hop into a car real quick, will that raise our temperature? Because I think it's the wind chill that's brutalizing us right now. Oh, there's the fads. I see a fads. That's good. Just don't want to miss our turn off. I'm going to keep the wind to our backs as long as possible. And then we'll turn in at the break. Oh, here we go. No, no, no. That's the outbuildings. But I'm going to check out this car. See if we can warm up in here. Nope. No warm up in here. No solace in that car. Keep moving. But at least we know where we are now. We're right here. Wow, we still have a ways to go. <laughs> I didn't realize how far this was. Well, anyway, this is a little more exciting. It's an exciting way to end the episode, because I think we're getting to the point where this episode is very much long enough. I can barely see anything right now, and our condition is dropping, too, because of our hypothermia risk. But that's okay. We'll get back to Molly's. We'll get a fire started. We'll warm up, dry off, get a cup of hot cocoa cooking up. Um, wait a minute. We don't have any hot cocoa. <laughs> we'll make something. Hot coffee, that sounds good too. Anything hot. At least the wolves aren't out. Although, maybe I should knock on wood. Okay, here we go. This is the bridge I was thinking of. I forgot about the Contemplation Bridge. This is the one. Uh, the Heartbreak Ridge Bridge. There's a car. I don't think it's going to help us. Oh, there's a message here. Uh, it says, you're going to die. But that's just a rough translation, so let's not read into it. Okay, we're getting super close now. I'm going to cut in any second here. And the break in the fence. And this is our way home. Right here. I was going to go check the snares today, but nope. That ain't going to happen. You might want to hop in here really quick just to warm up. And then make the final push to Molly's. Get in quick! Whew, okay, no more hypothermia risk. We can warm up here and 
dry off for a moment. We are soaked through and through. Look at those pants. 99% wet. Even our shoes are 57% wet. These nice boots. Gloves are 70%. Jackets up to 69%. Our outer toque is 80%. Yeah. Not looking great there, Punchwood. But we're going to warm up here for a moment. And then we'll make the final run. Back to Molly's. And I'll probably spend this rest of the day just uh, warming up and drying off. And maybe doing a little bit of reading. Oh, more charcoal here. Um, I'm not going to subject you to that boredom. Again, we've already done enough of that today. I know some of you really do enjoy that kind of thing. You watch anything and everything. <laughs> but others are like, nah, just skip those parts. Let's get to the action. So I'm trying to do a mix of both. Maybe not every episode is going to get both, but the series is going to have a little bit of everything. Oh, there's a hole. Somebody fix that. I should put a snare right there. I bet the rabbits come in here to lay in the nice warm hay. All right, we're almost ready to move. Almost ready to move. Okay. Hypothermia risk. Go away. Go. Beat it. Leave me alone. Thank you. All right, hypothermia risk is gone. Although my heart still aches. I'm just lonely, I guess. <laughs> so now, um, I'm just trying to drop some weight here. Might have to sacrifice my dancing shoes if I break them down. It'll be lighter, I think. But why don't we just eat something? We got some food here we can eat. What do we got? We have a energy bar. Just give us energy to make it to Molly's. The last push. All right. So all we have to do is run straight. Maybe just lean to the right a little bit. Ready? On three, two, one. Race ya. Run. All right. We don't really need to run, but I think this is the way. Is this an actual road right here? Oh, wait a second. Oh, no, 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 don't follow that. Holy cow. I almost went off the beaten path. Actually, we want to be off the beaten path. Look at that, three down arrows. I really don't think I've ever been in this cold of weather before. Feels like negative nine right now. I think Molly should be right here. Should we follow the power lines to Molly's? Seems to make sense, right? She has to get power somewhere. Oh, I, I, wait, I, I, I see something. I just see trees. Oh boy. My fingers feel numb. Uh, put your gloves on then. You got, I got you some brand new gloves. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I see a fence. Okay. Yes, just follow the power lines. Pleasant Valley Farmstead. There it is. Salvation. Protection. Eh, wait a second. That's not it. Oh, here it is. I'll die if I don't warm up soon. Oh, stop with the drama. I had it under control the whole time. Yeah, well, maybe. All right. Oh, we're warming up right here on the porch. That's so cool. Well, it is coated as indoors. That's what I was told. Is there anything we need to drop here or should drop? Uh, I don't think so. Got a few cans, but they should be all right. We don't need any food right now. So, yeah, let's go in. We made it. Yay, we're back at Molly's. Ooh, wow. Sounds like the whole place is gonna crumble. Uh, all right, so we're back. I think we're gonna call it quits right here. I've got a whole bunch of uh, inventory organizing to do. So I'm gonna do that off camera. And I think what we might do is get a fire started here, warm up, dry off, and then um, I'll do some reading tonight. I'm just gonna drop trow. Whew, those things are soaked. Put them here by the fire. We're going to sit here in the living room with a nice fire going. And I think I will read probably Wilderness Kitchen. Frozen Angler could be good too, but I don't know. I'll, I'll think about that. Oh, yep. Hungry. All right. No problem. Let's go outside and grab some chow. We've got some good stuff out there. And with that, my friends, we're going to call it quits. I hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. Have a good day. Holy cow, the whole building's gonna fall down on us. Might have to go down to the basement. Get to the basement, it's a hurricane!
Wow, is it cold. Cold is making my yeah, head feel thick. I know it is. Yeah, we should have made a hot meal or a hot uh, coffee or something. I've never felt so cold in my life. I think you'll be fine, buddy. Uh, but I'm no doctor, so... All right, we're at the contem Contemplation Bridge. Whoa, 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 whoa. Contemplation Bridge? This is Heart Ridge. What the heck is... Oh, no! There's a car. I don't think it's going to help us. Oh, there's a message here. Uh, it says, you're going to die. But that's just a rough translation, so let's not read into it. There it is. Salvation. Protection. Eh, wait a second. That's not it. Oh, here it is. I'll die if I don't warm up soon. Oh, stop with the drama. I had it under control the whole time. Yeah, well, maybe. 